Hey everybody, welcome to the Hitch channel. Today, we're going to talk about the 9 signs you are dealing with an emotional manipulator. Emotional manipulators define logic. They derive satisfaction from controlling you and creating chaos. We don't know what it feels like to be emotionally manipulated. It can be extremely effective, which is why unscrupulous individuals do it so much. A few years ago, Facebook, in conjunction with the researchers from Cornell and the University of California, conducted an experiment in which they intentionally play with emotions of 689,000 users by manipulating their face so that some users only saw negative stories while others only saw positive stories. Sure enough, when these people posted their own updates, they were greatly influenced by the mood of the posts they have been shown. Facebook can manipulate your emotions. Facebook caught a lot of flack over the experiment, primarily because none of the participants gave their consent to join the study. Perhaps more frightening than Facebook for Pat was just how easy people's emotions were manipulated. After all, if Facebook can manipulate your emotions just by tweaking your newsfeed, imagine how much easier this is for a real life person who knows your weaknesses and triggers. A skilled emotional manipulator can destroy your self-esteem and even make you question your sanity. It's precisely because emotional manipulation can be so destructive that it's important for you to recognize it in your own life. It's not as easy as you might think because emotional manipulators are typically very skillful. They start off with subtle manipulation and raise the stacks over time so slowly that you don't even realize it's happening. Fortunately, Emotional manipulators are easy enough to spot if you know what to look for. First, they undermine your faith in your grasp of reality. Emotional manipulators are incredibly skilled liars. They insist an incident didn't happen when it did, and they insist they did or said something when they didn't. The trouble is that they're so good at it that you end up questioning your own sanity. To insist that one of the cause of problem is a figment of your imagination. It's an extremely powerful way of getting out of trouble. Number two, their actions don't match their words. Emotional manipulators will tell you what they want to hear, but their actions are another story. They pledge their support, but when it comes to time to follow through, they act as though your requests are entirely unreasonable. They tell you how lucky they are to know you and act as though you are a burden. This is just another way of undermining your belief in your own sanity. They make you question reality as you see it and know your perception according to what is convenient to them. Number three, there are experts at doling out guilt. Emotional manipulators are mastered at leveraging your guilt to their advantage. If you bring out something that's bothering you, they make you feel guilty for mentioning it. If you don't, they make you feel guilty for keeping it to yourself and stealing on it. When you're dealing with emotional manipulators, whatever you do is wrong. And no matter what problems the two of you are having, they are your fault. Number four, they claim the role of the victim. When it comes to emotional manipulators, nothing is ever their fault. No matter what they do or fail to do, it's someone else's fault. Someone else make them do it. And usually, it's you. If you get mad or upset, it's your fault for having unreasonable expectations. If they get mad, it's your fault for upsetting them. Emotional manipulators don't take accountability for anything. Number five, they're too much too soon. Whether it's a personal relationship or the business relationship, emotional manipulators always seem to skip a few steps. They share too much too soon and expect the same from you. They portray vulnerability and sensitivity, but it's a ruse. The charade is intended to make you feel special for being let into their inner circle. But it's also intended to make you feel not just sorry for them, but also responsible for their feelings. Number six, they are an emotional black hole. Whatever emotional manipulators are feeling, they are geniuses at sucking everyone around them into those emotions. If they are in a bad mood, everyone around them knows it. But that's not the worst part. They are so skillful that not only is everyone aware of their mood, they feel it too. This creates a tendency for people to feel responsible for the manipulator's mood and obliged to fix them. Number seven, they eagerly agree to help and maybe even volunteer and act like the model. An initial eagerness to help swiftly morphs into signs, grunts, and suggestions that whatever they agree to do is a huge burden. 
And if you shine a spotlight on that reluctance, they'll turn it round on you, assuring you that, of course, they won't help unless you're just being paranoid. The goal? To make you feel guilty, indebted, and maybe even crazy. Number eight, they'd always one up you. No matter what problems you may have, emotional manipulators have it worse. They undermine the legitimacy of your complaints by reminding you that the problems are more serious. The message: You have no reason to complain, so shut the heck up. Number nine, they know all your buttons and don't hesitate to push them. Emotional manipulators know your weak spots, and they're quick to use that knowledge against you. If you're insecure about your weight, they comment on what you eat or the way your clothes fit. If you are worried about an upcoming presentation, they point out how intimidating and judgmental the attendees are. Their awareness of their emotions is off the charts, but they use it to manipulate you, not to make you feel better. So, how to overcome manipulation? Emotional manipulators drive you crazy because their behavior is so irrational. Make no mistake about it; their behavior truly goes against reason. So why do you allow yourself to respond to them emotionally and get sucked into the mix? The more irrational and obvious someone is, the easier it should be for you to remove yourself from their traps. Quit trying to beat them at their own game. Distance yourself from them emotionally and approach your interaction with them like they're all a science project. You don't need to respond to the emotional chaos; only the facts. Maintaining emotional distance requires awareness. You can't stop someone pushing your buttons if you don't recognize when it's happening. Sometimes you find yourself in situations where you need to regroup and choose the best way forward. This is fine, and you shouldn't be afraid to buy yourself some time to do so. Most people feel as though because they work or live with someone, they have no way to control the chaos. This could be further from the truth. Once you have identified a manipulator, you will begin to find their behavior more predictable and easier to understand. This will equip you to think rationally about when and where you have to put up with them, and when and where you don't. You can establish boundaries, but you will have to do so consciously and proactively. If you let things happen naturally, you will bound to find yourself constantly embroiled in difficult conversations. If you set boundaries and decide when and where you will engage a difficult person, you can control much of the chaos. The only trick is stick to your guns and keep boundaries in place when a person tries to cross them, which they will. So bring it all together. Emotional manipulators can undermine your sense of who you are and even make you doubt your own sanity. Remember, nobody can manipulate you without your consent and cooperation. That's all for the sharing today. If you like this video, please consider to smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read and reply to your comments, and I hope to see you in the next video.